Hi, and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today we are working on a bunch of really affordable, but really, really pretty outdoor patio or porch or table decor DIYs. This is something that a bunch of you had suggested, so I thought it would be really fun to put this together. And this is going to be great for if you're entertaining, if you're just hanging out outside for barbecues, just to spruce up your backyard or your porch. So let's get started. DIY number one. So for another idea of something for decor outside, but also if you're entertaining, if you have a basket, say you don't have like an ice bucket, you can take a basket and some sort of plastic bag. It can be like a cut up garbage bag or grocery bag like I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna cut it to fit so none of this is hanging over. And then I'll show you how it looks. And this doesn't need to be perfect, obviously. It's just to catch the extra water when the ice melts. And you probably wouldn't even need to do it, but if you're going to put it on a table, you don't want the ice just melting all over the table. So you could probably just set it in there or use your um, hot glue gun, but I'm going to use some double-sided tape. And this is super simple, but it would make it would make a cute little kind of decor piece, but also functional and super cheap too. I got my basket at a garage sale I think last year. So then it is all ready for you to. I guess you could put a cute little plant in there too, but um, add ice and some drinks. I think it turned out really pretty and when you're done it's not something that you have to toss or anything you can figure out how to use it somewhere else in your house DIY number two this one super easy and super affordable but turned out really pretty you're just going to need a three of these um, bowls or vase type things from the Dollar Tree. I got two smaller ones and one bigger one. I'm using black acrylic paint and this bronze. And you're just going to need some sort of paintbrush or paint sponge. And this obviously use any color that goes with your style or whatever you love. I'm starting with black. I just saw um, like a really pretty design on um, a candle holder one time and I wanted to try it so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just dabbing it on because I want to, once I light the candle, I want to be able to see a little bit of um, the candlelight through the paint. Like I didn't want it to be super solid. And I'm sorry, I didn't get a picture of these at night, but you can kind of picture it. I'll show you what they look like at the end, but <laughs> I didn't get one at night with the candles glowing. So I just went ahead and repeated it on the next one. And I also did the bottom. And then I thought it would be really pretty to just add a little bit of that glittery bronze. You could use gold or, you know, you could use bright colors, which was originally what I was going to do, but I thought this would be pretty as well. And then I'm just taking some Dollar Tree sand and adding it to the bottom. You could use marbles, you could use rocks. And then I'm just taking um, these little candles. These are from Antique Candle Company. I always have the description, or I always have the link in my description box if you want to check them out. Um, but originally I wanted to use citronella candles, but I couldn't find any little ones. So if you guys have um, any suggestions where I could find the little... Um, what are they votive style candles in the citronella that would be awesome because i thought these would be perfect you know when you're outside 
like on your picnic table or on your patio or whatever just to have the citronella candles burning and then for the center one which is the bigger bowl I'm adding some sand to a separate bowl and I didn't want it to be white so I'm just going to add a little bit of that black paint to dye it and it's not going to be solid black it's going to be just have like a black tinge to it and then all you want to do is just mix it up really well don't worry it doesn't stay clumpy <laughs> you just gotta stir it up really good and then you can add more um, color if you wanted and then I wanted to add um, some of that bronze too just to kind of bring the two colors of the smaller bowls together into the center one So let me know how do you guys like to decorate like for your um decorate your porch or your patio i did a another video last week with like flowers and my garden and stuff like that i'll link that above if you want to check it out but this is what the sand looks like that i mix the bronze and the black together and i just thought it would be really pretty to add a succulent and this is another um item that i got from the dollar tree so this DIY is super affordable and um, most things you can find at most dollar stores, I think. <laughs> and here they are all finished. I think they're really, really pretty. And like I said, you can change it up to match your style. Let me know what you guys think of that one. DIY number three. Okay, so my next tip is um, curtains at a thrift store. I picked this up. I just loved the, the really pale pink and the stripes and this corally color. I just thought it was perfect for summer and they were just curtains there was one panel but that's perfect to redo um, outdoor pillows and stuff for super super cheap and the fabric is really nice and heavy duty and you can always just spray it with never wet or just bring your cushions in if it rains but look I got it for a dollar ninety nine if I can get it to focus a dollar ninety nine for all this fabric and it's awesome so I will show you how I I'm going to redo my pillows super easy we're going to use that same fabric fusion usually i like to use liquid stitch i just find that works really really well and really fast um, but i don't have any so this is what we're using or you can go ahead and sew but as you know i'm not a big sewer so for this pillow <clears throat> i just wanted to recover it i got this a couple years ago from walmart it's just an outdoor pillow so I'm just going to take it and cover it with this, but I wanted one side to be this and then the other side of the pillow to be the stripes. I thought that would be really pretty. So I'm just going to lay it out and you want, you know, enough to hang over so you can glue it or stitch it to the other side. Actually, it would go this way. Um, so I'm just going to cut it. You can go ahead and measure, but I just eyeball. So I'll show you how I do that. And I'm not in my craft room again because I'm hanging out with my dog. She just um, got back from surgery yesterday. She's doing really well. Um, I will give you an update because I know a bunch of you wanted to know how she was doing. I'll give you an update here shortly. So I'm just going to cut it here so that I have enough room to put my adhesive down. So 
You want to do it inside out and then either stitch it or use your fabric adhesive, whatever you have, and then just do this edge, this edge, and then leave one open so you can turn it inside out. And this stuff doesn't dry right away, so you'll probably have to pin it or clip it. So for this one, it didn't turn out how I wanted. I, I really am not a huge fan of this adhesive glue. I, I was new to trying it, but um, it didn't hold together like I was expecting. So I would go ahead and use something of your choice. I like liquid stitch or um, the iron-on kind, or you can just hand stitch it, but this did not turn out how I wanted. But I'm just going to redo them because I think the colors are really pretty. DIY number four. This one is going to be a super affordable one again, actually probably free. <laughs> you just take some of your condiment jars or um, any that you find at Goodwill, they're always super cheap, um, but you just want pretty glass jars. And I know I have a bunch of you that usually um, will comment that they can't get the labels completely off like the glue. I love to first wash it off with hot water and then use this Goo Gone. It works great. I think I think they have it at the dollar store. I'm not sure. But then I just use this dollar store sponge and give it a good scrubbing and the glue and everything comes off really easy. And if you're going to paint them, you're going to want to wash the outside um, really well because that Goo Gone stuff is like an oil. And I'm just going to use three of the jars that I had, and you just want to, and you're just going to want to fill them with water, part way because you're going to add stones, or you could add marbles. That would be gorgeous. And then I'm taking some of this raffia. You could use twine too. I think that would be really pretty or a ribbon, like a colorful ribbon. And I'm just tying it around the top. And I got this idea. I saw a couple pictures on Pinterest. I thought it was really, really pretty at night. I'll try and find the original inspiration picture. I just went ahead and tied the raffia around all three of them and then um, on a couple of them I tied some twine just so you could see them hanging because I thought that was really pretty. But this is what they look like just um, sitting which would be really pretty on um, like a, a patio table or a railing or something but this is what it looks like at night. I just think it looks so cool with the rocks at the bottom. And if you're having like a get together or something, these would be really cool, just kind of placed outside wherever you guys are hanging out. And even better if you could find little citronella candles. <laughs> In a quick clip, this is what it looks like hanging from the tree. I think that's super pretty as well. I don't know if you can tell the candles lit there. <laughs> DIY at number five. This one is another Dollar Tree one using their hand towels. I loved these lemons on there. It was so pretty and so summery. Again, not a fan of this um, fabric adhesive. So I just lined them up because I wanted to make a cute little um, cheap table runner for our outdoor table. I'm just cutting off the seam on um, both ends, or on one end of both of the towels, <laughs> just because um, trying to glue them together, it would make it really bulky there. This is what I ended up using. 
but then had to use this adhesive tape later because it didn't hold as well as I thought it would. But you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. <laughs> so I just glued the two ends together that I cut the um, hem off. I was struggling there. <laughs> and then I'm taking this ribbon just so you can't see where the two um, ends meet. Again, you're going to want to use the iron-on stuff or stitch it on yourself because this stuff, one, didn't hold, and two, you could see, um, you know, the glue through the ribbon, which I didn't even think about until I was done. <laughs> And this is what it looks like outside on our porch. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the lemons. And they have other designs, too, at the dollar store. DIY number six. This one's super easy and super affordable as well. It's just going to be like a DIY um, citronella candle made with you know, most of the stuff you probably already have in your kitchen. <laughs> I saw this recipe on Pinterest. The only thing that mine is lacking is um, essential oils because I can't use those in my house because of my son. So I am just using, you know, all the natural stuff. So I'm using lime and lemon and then some herbs from our garden. I'm using basil and rosemary. And this smelled so good. This would probably smell really good um, in like a pot. I don't know if you guys do it too, but sometimes if I want the house to smell good, I'll just boil or simmer some water um, with different, you know, like herbs or um, like cinnamon or something in the water. And it fills the room. It smells so good. But this might be one to try. But for this DIY, you're just going to add some water and then add in the herbs that you picked. You can look up which ones are really good to keep um, like bees and um, like mosquitoes away. And just kind of like break them up and like um, kind of rub them around in your fingers just to get the oils released. And then I added a little bit more lemon and lime. And then you put in a cute little candle. And this actually helped even without the essential oils just to keep the bugs away. And it's not perfect, obviously. DIY number seven. This one isn't so much a DIY as it is um, a tip or something to spruce up your area. <laughs> this is what I like to do. I take some Dawn dish soap and um, usually I use um, Oxy, but I saw this Borax. I'd never used it before, but it sounded like it did almost the same thing. So I'm using that and it was cheaper so and more um, natural, I guess. So I just mix those two together with some water and a scrub brush and I like to clean off my cushions um, when I put them out um, first thing in the summer. I probably should clean them before I put them away. <laughs> but I like to do this and then use um, the stain remover to get rid of any stains. And some of them were really, really in there. I think I need to finally recover my cushions because I've had them. Um, my mom and I did this in 2015, I believe. So I might recover them, but this helps to spruce them up and make them look brighter and a little bit newer. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but outdoor like patio furniture and cushions and stuff are so expensive. So that was a simple tip. <laughs> 
DIY number eight. This is our final one. I'm just using these scrap wood pieces. Um, I got these, I showed them to you in a couple of videos. Um, I got them on the side of the road and it said free. So <laughs> you're also going to need some sort of flower container and stencils. And you could also use real flowers, but I'm using these from Walmart. And we're making an address sign. I saw um, ideas like this on Pinterest as well, but they were more from a store. <laughs> but I thought we could make them easily. I'm using liquid nails. I wasn't happy with how it held the wood together, probably just because I was being impatient. Um, so I would just go ahead and use maybe regular wood glue or a liquid nails that's made for just wood. I was struggling here. <laughs> so I just took my finger and um, smeared it out just because I didn't want it to like squish all over my carpet. I did end up um, moving this project into the other room just so I didn't get everything on my carpet. And then I took a clamp to hold it together and it wasn't holding as well as I wanted it to so I just <clears throat> um, cut another board for the back I need to cut two just so it's even, but you get the picture. <laughs> and this would probably help to um, put some sort of hanger on there, however you're going to hang it. And then I just used my little saw to cut it, and like I said, I moved into the other room <laughs> while I cut it. And then attached it with more of the liquid nails. I would use um, wood glue and then I tried to use these nails. I don't know what was going on. It was just this DIY was not working <laughs> But as you can see I used some little nails and they kept bending. I was getting so frustrated So I finally was able to reach my husband's tools Because I'm on the shorter side so and he st stores them up in our garage um, Kind of high so I was able to get those anyway I will have these tools linked in the description box because they work really well. I love the screwdriver. You guys know that <laughs> from other videos. But then you just take your number stencils and put your address on there. This is not my address, obviously. but <laughs> And I thought it would be cute if you could do like a little um, like hanger thing at the bottom. Maybe like with your name or something. I thought that would be really pretty. But this would look cool. Um you know, attached to your house or hanging from maybe like a light post if you have one with um, that you can hang something off of or whatever. I just think it's super pretty. So then I just filled in the numbers with a Sharpie. You could use outdoor paint or whatever. And then you can fill your little planter with anything for each season or um, holiday. I think it's just super fun. And we used scrap wood and the little planter was only a dollar from the dollar store and these um, greenery were from Walmart and I think they were either 97 cents or $1.47 a piece I think. But that's it. All finished. I hope you really liked all these DIYs. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, let me know what you think and let me know any video ideas that you guys have. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for all your love and support and I'll see you next time. Bye!